it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. Howdy folks, it's Stephen here with Study Clicks, and in this video we're looking at income tax. Now what we're going to be doing here is finding people's take home pay after the tax is calculated and deducted. So there's going to be three steps involved to finding a person's net income, also known as their take home pay. The first thing we'll have to do is calculate the gross tax. And just a reminder that gross means before any deductions happen. So the gross tax is the tax that's calculated before anything's taken away from it. We have to find 20% of what we call the standard rate cutoff and 40% of income above the standard rate cutoff and we'll see that in action to see what it means. Step two will be to calculate the net tax. So net is after we take away deductions. So our net tax is going to be our gross tax from step one, take away the tax credits. And then in step three, our net income, our take home pay here is going to be our gross income, which is our original income before any deductions, taking away the net tax that we calculate in step two. So these steps are quite busy, but we'll see what happens here when we break them down. I'm told Patrick has a gross income of €45,000, the standard rate of tax is 20% and the higher rate is 40%. So there's two tax bans going on here. The standard rate cutoff point is €36,800 and he has a tax credit of 3300 In part A, I'm asked to find his gross tax. So let's see what's happening here. We're told that there's a tax rate of 20% and that's the standard rate. Now I'm going to tell you that that standard rate will go up to the standard rate cutoff point of 36,800. So what I'm saying by that is to get our 20% tax, we're going to be getting 20% of 36,800. The standard tax goes up to the standard rate cutoff point. And if we look to our first step for our gross tax, we're asked to find 20% of the standard rate cutoff. So that's 20% of our 36,800. Then what we have to do is calculate our 40% tax and we get 40% tax on the income above the standard rate cutoff. So it's going to be 40% of, and it's the remainder above the 36,800. So we know Patrick earns 45,000 euro. So I'm gonna take away the 36,800 standard rate cutoff point from that to get the amount for the higher rate of tax. So let's go ahead and work out these percentages. For our 20%, I'm going to do 20 over 100 times by our 36,800. And for our higher rate, we're doing 40 over 100 times by that bracket there of 45,000. Take away our 36,800. So we'll calculate both of these figures. So here our 20% tax, our standard rate of our standard cutoff point is 7,360 and the higher rate of tax on the income above the 36,800 up to our 45,000 euro is 3,280. So now to calculate my gross tax, what I'm going to do is add these two tax bills together. So Patrick has a gross tax bill of 10,640. So once more for our gross tax, we find 20% of the standard rate cutoff point and we get our 40% on the income above that. So we're gonna be subtracting our gross income take away the standard rate cutoff for that. If we look to part B here, I'm asked to find his net tax and we have a formula for this. We're saying that net tax equals gross tax minus our tax credits. So our gross tax is our answer from part A, which is 10,640. And I take away the tax credit that is given to me in the question. I'm told the tax credit is 3,300. So we're gonna subtract that off. And doing that, we get a value of 7,340. So let's talk about what these figures mean. In part A, the gross tax was the 10,640. That was the tax Patrick was supposed to pay. But the government will give you something called a tax credit, and that's an amount of tax that you don't have to pay. So here, our tax credit is 3,300. So we don't have to pay a 3,300 euro worth of tax. So we take it off our tax bill to get 7,340, which is our net tax, which is also called the tax payable. This is the tax that we have to pay. And this is our net tax. If we move on to part C, we're asked to find his net income or his take home pay. So all we're going to be doing with that to find the net income. In our steps, it says to do gross income, which was 45,000 euro here. And we have to take off the net tax. And that was our answer to part B, which was our 7,340. And when I do that, I get a value of 37,000 euro 660. Make sure we have our euro signs involved when we're dealing with money here. 
So folks, that's all there is going to be to it. This question was broken into three parts for each of the steps. Next, what we're going to do is look at it all combined together. So folks, here I'm told Danielle has a gross annual pay of 52,000 euro. She pays the standard rate of tax of 20% on the first 36,800 and the higher rate of 40% on the balance. She has a tax credit of, of 3,300 euro. We're asked to find her take home pay. And a reminder that take home pay is the same as net income. So what are we going to do here? We're going to follow the steps and even if it isn't broken up like the last question, we're going to follow them anyway. So the first thing I need to follow is to calculate my gross tax. Now, how am I going to do that? I need to get 20% of the standard rate cutoff point. So I'm doing 20 over 100 multiplied by my standard rate cutoff point of 36,800. Then I need to get 40% on the balance of the income. So it's 40% of the income that's left. So what I do here is take the 52,000 and I take away the standard rate cutoff point and that will leave me with the balance of the income. So let me calculate these figures. Doing that, we get 7,360 for the standard rate and 6,080 for the higher rate. Now for Danielle's gross tax altogether, what we're going to do is add these two tax bands together. So 7,360 adding on 6,080. And here we get 13,440 euro. Now a reminder, what does that figure mean? That is the amount of tax Danielle is supposed to pay, 13,440. But in step two, our net tax, we have to take off our tax credits here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. The government gives us an allowance of a tax credit, which is tax we don't have to pay. So I take my 13,440, which I'm supposed to pay, take off the 3,300 euro, and doing that, we get a value of 10,140 euro as Danielle's tax payable or tax bill. So net tax is also known as tax payable. Finally, to find Danielle's take home pay, we call this her net income. So what we do here is we take the 52,000 euro gross annual income and we take away the tax she has to pay, which is the 10,140 euro. Doing that, we get a value of 41,860 euro. So folks, that's all there is to calculating our income tax and net income. You need to remember those three steps, break the question down each time into those three parts and you'll get to your answer every time. Now it's your turn to try this out. Pause the video here, work through these questions and check in with the solutions when they appear on screen. Here in question one, we're following those steps. In question two, it's not broken down, so we have to jump straight to following all three of our steps to get our answer. In question three, we're following our steps to get our answers for part A and B, but for part C to get her net income as a percentage of her gross income, we simply put the net over the gross and times it by 100. Thanks for watching.